What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. I have a quick video today. I hope it's quick. I always say it's quick, and here I am already rambling. Gutenberg Hub, gutenberghub.com. They have recently uh, put out their directory, their library of Gutenberg blocks in order for you to go and literally copy and paste these into your WordPress website. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that they have. They have a Chrome add-on. They have a whole you know, slew of things that's sort of coming down the pipe. But I just wanted to show you how really cool this was. You can actually build your own block right in their builder here. So if I click this, I can come in and start building from scratch uh, or start with one of these templates so that I can make my own. And that's it's really cool. I, I'm assuming we can share this with the rest of the people and everyone would have access to that Gutenberg block that you made. One thing, one caveat here is uh, you can copy and paste the block structure without any styling, uh, and hopefully your theme uh, helps with the styling components of it. Or you can use a plugin uh, like this one that they recommend, Blocks CSS, which will allow you to apply CSS to every block. This is fine for a really small site, something that's not going to be super heavy, um, you know, lots of, you know, finite development. But if you're building this for a client site and, you know, you're thinking of doing something in a versioning control tool, you're coding things in a very strict manner or in a common practice manner, this might not be the most scalable solution. So you want to paste the CSS code into your style sheet, your functions file, your child theme, what have you. So let's just dive right in. I'm going to copy, uh, let's say, I don't know, let's take this one for a second. Let's see if this even works. I haven't tested this, this, this block yet. So I copied it and I'm going to paste it. There it is. Like the whole structure is already there. And if I inspect the block, the custom CSS, you can see this is that plugin that allows me to do the custom CSS. I'm going to go back, copy the CSS. The image most likely is not going to come with us here, but let's go ahead and highlight that pasted in, made a minor difference there. But if we preview it, effectively, there's our hero image uh, or our hero section. We'd, we'd have to go in and put uh, the image in. Let's grab another one. Um, let's see. This one looks interesting. Preview it. Copy the code. Back to the website. Let's go down below it. Paste another one in. Scroll down. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> Look how easy uh, that is. And if I just highlight that group, custom CSS, the CSS already came over. Uh, I'm assuming because I have this plugin already installed uh, and it's automatically defaulting to, to dropping it in, in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's amazing. I can come in and each element, uh, I can change this. Custom color, red, just to make it show up a little bit more. Custom color here. You know, look, I mean, you can you can obviously play with it. And then the, the great thing about Gutenberg, I know a lot of people don't like me saying that, but the great thing here is I could then save this um, as a reusable block. So block created, it's saved. And now if I go into creating a new page, let's say, whoops. Add new. Watch this not work because I'm running a, a beta version of Gutenberg. But if I go into add a block, go to reusable, there's the untitled reusable block. I don't even have to go back to that website anymore. So I can literally go in, scoop up a bunch of Gutenberg templates, um, paste them into my site, save them as reusable, and then I'm able to go in and modify this stuff, um, you know, throughout the site. Pretty darn fun. And this is what I really like about Gutenberg is that we're starting to see a lot of options coming down. This also means that there's a lot, like a lot of options means, man, we got to pick the right stuff as we move forward with Gutenberg, uh, especially when you're thinking about supporting your clients, where are you getting code from? How are you, you know, going to uh, manage and support that in the long term? But look at all these options, heroes, testimonials. This is always a huge thing. Like you're always thinking about, well, Maybe this theme gave me a great testimonial section. I don't really care for the styling of it. I can go in and grab something here. I mean, of course, page builders allow you to do this too, but 
hey, this is Gutenberg. You're not going to have to get a page builder to do stuff like this. Pricing tables. My God, how many times have I agonized over what's a good looking pricing table? Sometimes I need something super basic, which would be like this first one right here, pricing table two. Maybe I need something more advanced, like maybe this one over here, uh, ACF pricing box one. I mean, you have plenty of options and this is going to continue to grow. So kudos uh, to the owners of GutenbergHub.com. Check it out. Let me know what you think about Gutenberg. Let me know if you're going to try this out. Have you been using this already? Are you going to build your own template? Let me know in the comments below. Plugintut.com. Plugintut.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. We'll see you in the next video.